News 19 nerds are here in Greenville for the SC Comic Con. I'm going to try not to nerd out, but I'm going to be honest with you, I don't care. Right now, I found none other than another beard brother from another mother, Kyle Starks. Kyle, what's up with you and this new book you got coming out? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, so, Assassination is my new book from uh, Skybound, which is uh, Robert Kirkman's uh, imprint for Image. Robert Kirkman is the creator of The Walking Dead. Uh, this is my new book, Assassination, comes out next week, uh, so I'm debuting it a little early. It is about the world's former greatest hitman, who's now a crime boss, is someone's trying to kill him, so he hires the 20 best hitmen in the world to be his new bodyguards, and they don't get along. So basically you just created if John Wick became the kingpin, and then decided to hire 20 more John Wicks to protect him while trying to figure out who's trying to kill him. That's exactly right. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Where did, you, where did you come up with this idea? Uh, I do a lot of Hitman. <laughs> for, for some reason, I do a lot of Hitman books. Uh, my book, Sex Castle, which was my first book, is it the best 80s action movie never made. Also about a world's former greatest Hitman. I write a lot of Hitman books. Uh, sort of the joke was, maybe I'm doing too many. And I'm like, well, what if I did one more, but I put all of the Hitman in it? Uh, uh, there's also like some Korean action fil like film influence on it. Uh, but no, I, mean, I, like, I like action movies, man. So I try to tell action movie stories. Uh, we got one of the best artists in the industry, Eric Anderson from Unbeatable Squirrel Girl and Jughead. Uh, we're real stoked about him. Now, two questions I've got to ask you. When you wrote Sex Castle about an 80s action hero, did you have a song playing and what song was it as you were doing this? I don't, you know, it's, it's funny, I don't really think in terms of soundtracks, I definitely had like a non-stop parade of 80s action films going, uh, but I'm not very musical, I think very cinematically rather than sort of that emotional feeling that people get from music. Uh, for this one though, can I, like Ballroom Blitz? Assassination is very Ballroom Blitz, I think. Uh, there's a character named Fernando, so I think when he showed up, there would definitely be the Abba song playing, right? Uh, but yeah, yeah, I, I tend to think more in movies rather than soundtracks. I need to start thinking soundtracks more because I think it's more fun, but I, I don't do it. I don't do it. I know. So out of the 20 hitmen that you have hired in this book, what's the one that stands out, the one that we need to look out for? Can I curse on? I can't curse, right? Don't curse because I can't curse. You can't curse. His name's a curse. <laughs> oh, give me the second one. Fernando's my second favorite. Okay. Yeah, Fernando's great. And we do like... um. Uh, we do like a, hold on, I'll cover his name, because it's profanity. We do like the top 20 rankings, so you can see like how they've moved up and down from the previous, whatever the previous time was. But there's Fernando, and he's number one, so he's the best. Fernando kind of looks like Jaguar from Rick and Morty. I, you know, I kind of, I, I think when I wrote it, um, I had like a machete, like uh, Danny. I mean, Danny like, Trejo. Danny Trejo, yeah, yeah. I was like, we should make him like Danny Trejo. And Eric is so good, it's like, this is, her version, right? So, I can see some Jaguar, I can see that. Now, I use that to bring up this transition we're gonna talk about. You are the third most prolific writer? No, no, I'm the most prolific writer. I've written more issues of this comic than there are episodes of the show, but I'm the third most prolific artist also. Uh, so I've written 30, I don't know how many, 35 issues, I've drawn five. Uh, and that five puts me third, basically, so. How did you get? How did you get on this gig right here? Um, I did Sex Castle. Uh, Sex Castle is my first book. It was nominated for an Eisner for Best Humor Publication. And the way this industry works is that if you write something funny, if someone else has a funny book, they come to you. So I actually did one issue of Invader Zim. Uh, didn't work out great. I was like, man, I wish they would have asked me to do Rick and Morty instead. They actually asked me to do Rick and Morty instead, and I've been on it ever since. That's awesome, guys. For the News 19 nerds, my brother from another mother. We got the best hats, the best glasses, and the best beards. I'm, look at it, look at it. It's uncanny. So, guys, check out the new book, Assassination Nation. Also, check out Sess Castle. And I can't recommend enough Rick and Morty. Very good. We're out.